Onions, it has been a hot <laughs> minute. Have you missed us? We missed you. Uh, and sadly, we don't have the whole crew here. Uh, shout out to uh, our, our partners, Frank Jean, the professor of uh, F around and find out. Uh, he's training today, and of course, uh, Money Matua. Uh, this being Memorial uh, Day weekend, uh, happy Memorial Day to all our American friends out there. Uh, Matt is working uh, tonight because he's a bartender. He's an actor, so that means he's a bartender, mm -hmm. and uh, bartenders work on these days. So uh, uh, thoughts are, are going out to those guys. Uh, wishing them all well and wishing you all well as well, folks. We all missed you. But uh, these ladies right here, I've missed you as well. Uh, we're starting off right here with our mama bear, if you will. <laughs> uh, the Asian hip hop hippie, the one Hello. who young. How are you, Steph? Hello, everybody. We missed you. <laughs> we missed you. What have you been up to? It's been a it's been a hot minute. Uh, oh, triple duty, running all over the place, and it's starting to get hot here in Boston. So yes, oh, events, yeah. things happening. Me trying to stay, you know, out of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> say less, say less. Oh, I'll, I'll, I know. I'll, I'll always be diplomatic. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> we love you. We love you. And uh, uh, speaking of uh, showing the love, we've got uh, the yogi herself, uh, one of our favorites, of course, and that is the one and only coming to us straight from Brazil, Miss <laughs> Rebecca Nishi. How are you? Hello. I'm good. I'm good. How have you been? I feel like I haven't seen you ladies for so long. Yeah, I know. Ah, oh, well, I have too many different jobs, but um, <laughs> <laughs> it's been fun. And I, I'm sorry, I'm not too... Uh, hello. <laughs> it's hot in Asia. I'm not far from you. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not too active in the Warrior Max Geek account in Instagram, but I still, of course, number one fan of the show. We are waiting for the renewal. We are cheering. And we are really hoping that Netflix will get it. <laughs> so keep going, people. Keep posting, mm -hmm. keep tagging, keep hashtagging. Don't give up. <laughs> Not give up at all. That's right. Uh, Netflix does see what we're doing out there and seeing all the love that, that there is uh, for Warrior, the show that we've all come around and uh, gathered to kind of be a part of. And, you know, uh, you can see the hashtags down there. If you want to see Warrior Season 4, hashtag Warrior Season 4. Uh, hashtag warrior with the A as a four and warrior on Netflix. And that will make us very happy. But you know what else mm. makes us happy? It's having some great people come on this show and having the chance to speak with some of this fantastic crew and cast uh, that is warrior. Now, one of the most ironically named characters on the show is a gentleman named Happy Jack. Who yes, he can be quite happy, but he can also be quite angry and quite vicious. But that is not the case for the man who plays him, who might be one of the happiest people I think I've ever seen. And that is the one and only Mr. Nat Rambulana. Welcome him to the show. Hey, Nat, how are you? Hey. 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 Hi, everybody. Oh, look at that big smile. Hello, happy Jack. How are you? That is you have the pod, right? <laughs> exactly. I, and I, I love that smile. Now, do you get that everywhere you go, though? Is that because because uh, I find people that are happy that have that traditional smile all the time, or people always complimenting you on your smile and you know just kind of your overall uh, happiness. Um, I mean, I try to be a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess people appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, show the love. And, yeah. and, and there's a lot of love for you as well. Uh, the fans, uh, we've been away for a while, but we got a lot of the fans that have already chimed in. 
Derek Chen is saying, woohoo, happy Jack. Look pretty hey. happy. Uh, happy Jack <laughs> is always happy. Uh, and yeah. Uh, hey, my favorite people. And thank you so much. Uh, again, thank you, Nat, for doing this. And uh, welcome to the show. Uh, to start you off, though, tell us a little bit about how you got on to Warrior and what that, mm. what that experience was like for you. Wow. So, um, so I'm obviously I'm I'm, in, I'm based in Johannesburg, South Africa, and um, the show shoots in Cape Town. So I think the brief came from one of the Joburg um, casting directors, and this was still out in season two. Mm. So this was they were shooting episode seven, and that's when they introduced the the, the character of Happy Jack. And yeah, it was just it was like any you know other audition. I'd known about the show. Um, I, you know, I mean, it, 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 it sort of was quite, you know, like everybody was speaking about it mm. because they had this massive set that they built, you know, at the Cape Town studios and we were all like, wow, you know, like <laughs> San Francisco in Cape Town. How amazing is that? And um, so I was quite excited to audition, obviously quite nervous. Um, but yeah, man, I just went, I think it took like one audition, I think, <laughs> to be honest. Um, <laughs> I think everybody was quite impressed, and yeah, then I, I shot. That's when I shot, yeah, episode seven in season two. Right, and, and uh, yeah, and and what an amazing uh, character! Like to have that rival brought on to here. Now, most of these characters are based on real life characters. Now, mm. how how much of your character was based on a true life character? Um, ooh, to be honest, I, I don't uh, think so. Well, yeah, I don't think he was based on anyone. I just, you know, what, you know, to be honest, I never asked. Um, right. Yeah. Oh, I, nice I, shot. Nice shot. I, I, I never asked. Yeah. You know, I just sort of came on and um, bought into the world. I mean, it was quite like, you know, they, 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 they created it in very much in like in a lot of detail. And and um, and the character was quite straightforward. You know what I mean? He was this opium dealer, um, <laughs> and he was quite like a, a bigger than you know, larger than life kind of character. Absolutely. And I was just happy to 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 play him, really. You know, to kind of get in his shoes and feel him out, and and yeah, and see what he you know, see how he acts and how he responds and how he interacts with everybody. Right. Yeah. And and you do have a. That that uh, rivalry that you have with Lee uh, Tom Weston Jones is yes. is is an absolutely great rivalry, and, and you make for such a great antagonist on this show. Um, talk to us a little bit about uh, you know working with Tom and some of the other uh, characters on, or some of the other actors on the show, and what that what that's like for you. Oh man, you know. Um... I think first up, I just have to say what a brilliant, beautiful, amazing cast. Um, you know, from like my first time on set, everybody was so embracing. Everybody was so welcoming. Everybody was so loving. Yeah, there you go. My wife, he's one of my favorites, Jason. Yeah, Dinster, one of the directors there. Um, just, just, just like you know, I mean, it's it's a big deal for us in South Africa, Joburg. You know what I mean? This is quite a massive set. You know, it's like. For us, it's like Hollywood in South Africa. So, so you know, you take it quite seriously and you get quite nervous and anxious. So to get on a set that big and to feel the love and the warmth of the cast, mm -hmm. um, you know, everybody from Andrew, um, Hoon, Jason, everybody was just so embracing, so loving. And we just had a lot of fun. I had so much fun, you know. Right. Um when you get on a set that big with so much, like with, with, like, like I'm saying, like everything, your costumes, it's like, you know, it's, 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 it's a period piece. Um, there's so much to play with. So um, it was just, it, it was an incredible experience. Tom, of course, um, consummate professional, hmm. ultimate English gentleman. I'm sure you've heard. I know right. you've house in the show. <laughs> we had him on the show. We, we, we had him on. <laughs> So, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? So um, he's just one of the most beautiful, most sweetest gentlemen ever and 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 generous, generous actor. So, so yeah, we had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. Well, we now, saw some of the outtakes and everything, you know, the shenanigans behind the scenes and wow. including, you know, Tom 
So were there a bunch of shenanigans between all of your characters? Practical um, joke, jokes or practical jokes or you know harassment? <laughs> Ri um, rivalries, rivalries. Rivalries, yeah. I mean, you know, no, we, we were quite boring, I think. <laughs> With each other, to be honest. Oh, love. Um, but 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 um, we just yeah we just got along really you know I think I think we're just trying to be professional with each other you know, um, and and yeah just trying to you know um, keep the standard high you know knowing that the the love that people have for the show, um, just trying to do a good job. Right That's now we. Uh, sorry. I know I had asked you about uh, the the real Happy Jack if there was a real one. Derek Chin uh, is saying that there was a real Happy Jack, and he's asking, oh, wow. does he know the real-life Happy Jack was a white guy? Oh, someone said that on, on the group once. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. And to be honest, I think initially they had cast a white guy. Oh, um, really? In the years. I remember when I did come on, it was a... It was a, it was a it was a recast. So they had actually cast me. I mean, yeah, because I remember they had to do like a whole um, a live cast. Of, of, of So they had already done a live cast of his face because of the scars and all that stuff that they had to oh. put on. Um, so, yeah. So then I guess that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, absolutely. Cool. So we're, we're all learning here today, which is great. I yeah. Know. Yeah. Which is amazing. I was going to say about Tom that um, it's amazing how sweet he is in real life, so polite, and in character he's so strong. And Happy Jackie is a very strong character to face, and uh, he he was like he, he was convincing that he he could face uh, Happy Jack, and also you I. I, I love when you have nothing to do with your character. You see the the actor in his Instagram, and he's totally different. So okay. it means how good <laughs> acting. <laughs> <laughs> nice and one, guys. Uh, yeah, I always <laughs> make fun, and dancing, and making jokes <laughs> jokes on your posts. And um, by the way, Gauzy. Uh, I'm sorry, it's so hard to say. It just yes, Kauzi. <laughs> yeah. uh, when she spoke about you when she came to our show, uh, you seem to be a very fun guy. And uh, so, give us something. What What is the craziest thing you ever done? Have you practiced your vocal exercises loud in public or something? <laughs> what is the craziest thing you you have done as an actor? Wow, you know, it's an that's a, that's such an interesting question. Um, I'm 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 a very boring human being when it comes to my normal self. You know, I'm I'm quite straight, you know, down the middle kind of guy, um, and I choose to be crazy through my characters. Um, that's how <laughs> that's how I get some excitement in my life. Um, because yeah, like like when I when I act, I just use it as, as for me. It's it's permission. To, to just go wild in a sense and um, I get quite cost I get like I get I get cost a lot in sort of like villain roles um, and I guess it's it's because it's you know it's such a contrast to who I am so I I, I give myself a freedom to 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 be like really bad really <laughs> not because, because you know what I mean like I'm like I'm not gonna get into trouble you know what I mean <laughs> um, I've got all the permission in the world, and and in fact, people actually like like it, and they praise me for it. So, yeah. <laughs> so, 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 so I use that. But like, uh, personally, what's the craziest thing I've done? I think my wife, um, her thirtieth birthday, we 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 jumped off the highest um, bungee jump in the southern hemisphere, which is oh. down in in Neisner, or the the Bloberg or the Blokrans Bridge. Um, that was that was quite wild. That was, that wow! Was wild. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. And you know, yeah. you know, it, it's funny that uh, two of the, the the greatest antagonists, or two of the best antagonists that we saw uh, over the last couple seasons, and especially in this last season, 
uh, was yourself. And they're absolutely nice people and absolutely uh, gems of human beings is yourself and Aunt Vi as well. One and only Miss Patricia Boyer, who says, oh, no, Yay! Patricia. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Patricia. <laughs> what a beautiful, beautiful human being, Pat. You are. Oh, I love you so much. Uh, yeah, she is. She is so great, and what a what a great. Uh, oh, hi, Heather. How are you? Yeah, um, yeah I, I love Patricia. I think she's she's fantastic and a, a, a great, great, great actor. actor. Yeah, great stage actor, great television actor, and my God, to see. I would like to see an origin story with Happy Jack and, and, and Bye. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, that, that, that would be fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> you, you guys think it's bad in Game of Thrones? <laughs> it, it, it was a bit dangerous here. I'd totally be up for that. <laughs> now, not how important is it to you and, and to um to the other actors in South Africa having shows like Warrior and the success of it and. Uh, for, for growing the craft and for growing the prof the profession, more importantly, in South Africa. Yo, I mean, I can't I can't actually begin to just say how how important it is. I mean, you know, growing up um, watching movies, Hollywood, you know, from Johannesburg or wherever you are in South Africa, it just seems like the the, the furthest place in the world to get to. You know, like how how am I like a lowly actor? You know, <laughs> in in Joburg, gonna get to Hollywood, get to Los Angeles, New York, all these big cities. So to have them come here and then cast us in in their shows, um, it's a it's a dream come true. You know, like I can't actually explain it to you. It's like you 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 living a dream. You kind of. Even now, I'm not quite sure what happened, you know, like I have to watch, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, did I actually get to act on that set, you know, um, right. and experience all those um, amazing things? You know, I, I, I get back to, you know, like other local actors and I tell them and they're just like amazed and everybody's amazed at, at, at that experience. So it's it's life changing, honestly. It's it's, it's incredible. Um, and And I guess, you know, like, if I had to make a comparison, you know, it's like playing on like a Premier League, you know, if you guys follow football, soccer, right. you know what I mean? That's, 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 that's the scale or that's the level at, at, at which we get at. And, and it's so refreshing as well to get there and find out that, wow, everybody's so normal. Right. <laughs> <You know what's laughs> right. Is that jarring for you though, when you get on set and you, and you, you're, you're meeting Jason Tobin or yeah. very young and, and they're like the most down to earth people or a D even a Dean Jagger. Like I, I would run into Dean in real life and be intimidated 10 out of completely, 10 times. Completely. And, and it's just, it's the most refreshing thing in the world. You know what I mean? To, to know that we're all the same, you know, we all go through the same anxieties, we all prepare the same, you know, regardless of whether you're acting in Joburg or whether you're acting in LA, um, it's it's the same. I had I had a, I had an experience with um, I did a scene in in uh, Blood Diamond way back and right. with Leonardo, oh. yeah, with with Leonardo DiCaprio, and mm -hmm. that was just like remarkable. So obviously, like we're all there on set and we're doing rehearsals. Um, and Ed, Ed Zwick was the director. Lovely, lovely, lovely guy. Um, and I, I was just like in awe, you know, just watching like my hero on, on, on set, watching him prepare. And like he was like fumbling, like he just like he kept dropping the gun that he was going to shoot us with. He kept like getting some movements wrong and they had to go back. And I was like, Liam, man, you <laughs> right. <laughs> You mean like you you fumble as well, like you make mistakes as well? Wow, how amazing <laughs> is this? Um, and yeah, so it's 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 an, it's incredible these opportunities. These opportunities are absolutely incredible. Right, and and I was uh, and that's why I had the picture ready there. I was actually going to ask you about uh, you know your origin and, yeah. and you know kind of starting off with the well, not starting off with Blood Diamond, but getting to do Blood Diamond as well. Uh, that uh, that is really, I mean, it's got to be something that's so, like you said, making you feel like you've already, you kind of made it. And then you see Leo's there and Leo's making mistakes and fumbling on his lines. 
do you think do you see a point where you're going to feel like okay i'm there now i made it to where i wanted to be i mean do you ever <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'm saying um look i'm just i'm just grateful for you know obviously you know i've got the dream to 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 act you know to move to la and, and make it big there i think like every single other actor in the whole <laughs> world um right. It's a, it's a real dream, you know. It's it's. I believe it's possible. Um, I'm grateful for these opportunities, though, you know, because because they 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 give you a taste of what what it could be like, of, of what mm. it's like, um, and it's just you know. I, I guess the biggest thing is just to be prepared for the moment, to 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 try and you know be ready yourself for the moment and grab it and enjoy it um, for for as much as it's worth, you know. Mm, yeah um and let me see I, go ahead i want to want i wanted to ask you about uh what motivated you to pursue this career well, now that we're speaking about did you reach yeah. where you dreamed of so how was your childhood uh, when did you start to go um to theater classes or how did you mm. become an actor Wow, thank you for that question. Um, well, uh, I think I've always wanted to be an actor from a very young age. Mm -hmm. My mother tells me this. Apparently, in nursery school, I did quite well in like these, the, the little nursery school plays. And um, I always, like, I was a very, very shy kid growing up, very quiet, very reserved, very, you know, a bit melancholic as well. And um, I remember watching like your kids' TV programs. We had, we had these kids' TV programs here in South Africa. Um, with the whole bunch of cool kids and they see always seem so confident. And I always used to watch them and like like dream, like, oh my word, one day if I could just be there, you know, it would be so cool. Not knowing that like inside I wanted to be an actor. And then the opportunity came in grade 11 um, when I had a project to do in, in, at school for my English class. And um, it was my English teacher at the time, Mrs. Green, um, who, who has since passed, you know, may I soul rest in peace. But um, after I had to perform a poem and right after that performance, she looked at me and she was like, wow, you're quite a talented actor. And up until that point, you know, I was just like, your, I don't know, like I, I had a lot going on. We were quite poor. There was a lot of struggles, you know, so I, I was quite like a reserved child and I didn't think much of myself. But that comment was the spark that just lit a flame like inside of me. And I was just like, what? I'm talented at something. <gasps> That's amazing. <laughs> what an incredible feeling. And 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 that later that year, I think there was a play in high school. I auditioned for it. I got on. And that whole experience was just amazing, man. Just being on stage, like nothing about it was like odd, you know. There was nothing. I was I was at home on stage and I was just like, this is this is what I want to do for this in my life. This is what I want to be. And, and yeah, may it continue. <laughs> it's such a strange thing uh, for, to, as like for anyone who, who gets into acting to try to explain it to other people about uh, the desire. Like when you catch that bug, like mm. in, 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 for acting and, and here, here, here's the thing that most actors don't want anyone to know is that we do it all for free. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 yeah, like a hundred percent. It's especially if there's a crowd there, we will do it for free. Just give us a stage, and like that's yeah. No, you're so right. Dragon forever. You'll you're always chasing that proverbial, you know, that high that you had that first time that, that you're on stage. Did you? Uh, how many times have you found that that high that you got that first time? You know, when, when that, when your teacher told you, oh, that's some great acting, like, he, mm. like, have you, have you hit that multiple times or is that something you, you find that you're still kind of chasing every time you go out for it and do another role? I mean, I had, um, I, I've recently had an interesting experience. I had a, I had a, I had a call on a, on a film that's shooting at the moment. Um, and it's got quite some famous people in it and, um, and yeah, it was my first time trying out my American accent. So I was very nervous. I was very anxious. 
You know what I mean? And 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 it was a big deal. You know, there was a lot of stake. And I won't lie, that that was quite a testing day. Like I've, I, I had to sort of push myself in way, ways that I haven't had to in a while. I mean, I, I, I'll admit, you know, um, after a while, you get quite comfortable, you know, in right. what I certainly have, you know, I've gotten quite comfortable and, you know, I know myself and, and I've got experience, I've got life experience and I've, I've learned to apply all of these things to, to my craft and and make them work for me. So 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 that recently was one high. Like I remember, like I glowed, I think, for like two days. <laughs> <laughs> it's still because, alive. <laughs> <laughs> just because uh, maybe it's the light that's shining right on you. <laughs> but but it was just such an incredible experience, you know. It was a it was a, it was a small role, you know didn't mean much maybe in the biggest sphere of things but it was but they but but you know the director was very generous um also the other actors and it was quite a meaty scene that i had to do so it was it was an incredible incredible experience so recently yeah that's been my most like gifting i, I felt like i grew like i like i was gifted and and i i was given something that like 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 something to go on you know some some hope was was something inside of me was lifted and and i can go on now you know knowing that okay cool i'm in the right place i'm going in the right direction oh i absolutely love it and now is it <laughs> is a uh, and i don't mean to hijack the questions here ladies sorry um but is 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 this a is this a, a pursuit that you just see a lifelong pursuit because i we we see actors in the field like you know like a jack nicholson nicholson who's mm. one of the goats of all time who's like, okay, I, I did my last movie. I'm going to retire. But then we see mm. other actors that are like, no, I'm going to die on set. Where, where, <laughs> where, where, where did your love for this fall? Like, where, where, where do you see yourself? And they'll, they'll be carrying my casket. Yeah, right. on the set, man. Like, they'll be pulling me off with like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> holding on, like, totally, you know, like, um, I, I, I love acting, man. I, mm. you know, it's, it, it means so much to me in so many ways. It does so much for me. Um, it, it gives me perspective. It, it, it gives me freedom. It, um, it's, 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 it's how I make sense of my world. You know, um, I often say to friends and colleagues when we talk, like, I, I get a lot of like I don't know life like life life in itself doesn't make sense to me in a, in, a, in, a, in a weird kind of way like it's just I don't understand why p people do certain things or why they act a certain kind of way but when I'm on set or when I'm on stage everything makes sense to me there you know what I mean I know like picking up on this cue that you know lines exits entrances beats rhythm pace you know coming in here coming you know like costume you know, moments, creating moments, reading moments, all of those things make so much sense to me. And so if I could, I would be on stage all the time. But, <laughs> you know, um, unfortunately, well, fortunately, not unfortunately, rather, but I've got to live and, and, and live life. And, you know, it's, 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 we've got to make that happen as well. Absolutely. Well, who would be the ultimate person that you want to work with? Woo! <laughs> oh snap! I mean, you've already worked with us now, so right. <laughs> so you can't See, I'm done. I'm yeah, done. I get it. it. I get it. <laughs> I reached the top of the mountain. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey Wright. Jeffrey Wright. Oh is yes, my favorite. You know, I remember him in Angels. It was it Angels in America? Yeah. Um, the, the, the mini series. Yes. He, he, oh, I he got was, chills. Yeah, that was intense. Yeah. That was intense. He was incredible. He was incredible in that. Um, and I just, I just, I, I love how, like, what, like, he's a silent mover. You know what I mean? He, he doesn't make much noise, but like, when he, when he, when he does make an impact, like, it's, it's huge and you remember him and it's lasting. And and he's someone I would love to love to to to, to work with, along with a host of other people. You know, there's so many talented actors out there, um, and actresses. Yeah, 
Ragu says, I love his performance as the voice of the Watcher. Yeah, he's got yeah. a great voice. And mm -hmm. uh, I mean, geez, he's a, even, even he does an audible version where he, he's voices Batman. And, and one oh. of them. Yeah, yeah. Really. Which is funny because he was Jim Gordon in Robin, Robert Pattinson's Batman. So yes. he's, he's all over yes. Gotham. And he's going to be in The Last of Us as well. Oh, well, the the TV series, yes. Which is wow. he? The, so the character that he's playing in The Last of Us, uh, Isaac in Last of Us, he yes. voiced he voiced him in the video game as well. Oh. No, he was getting to do both, which is yeah. Wow. Jeffrey, that's Jeffrey crazy. Was, uh, amazing. Like I, yeah. he was he was up for an Oscar this year, and I mean it was yes. A, it was a tough year, but uh, what a, if you, anyone's seen American Fiction? What a fantastic job! Yes. He's, no, he's he's incredible, man. He's incredible. Like he he just he, he operates on like a subliminal level. Like he's like you know you 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 don't you never quite have your hands on him. You know um, he's yeah. like he can change at any moment. And I just yeah, I I love that about him. Love yeah. that. He's the ultimate chameleon. Now, Steph asks who you'd like to work with. Who is someone you kind of fashion yourself after? Like, who are who are the people that you look up to, and you're like, mm. "Hey, I want I got to be a little bit like this," because that's what all actors do, right? We're we're all like, "I need yes. a little bit of this, a little bit of this, and let's put it all in the tool belt." What is, who who's in your <laughs> tool belt? Yo, that's a good question. <laughs> um. Oh, I. Wow. Okay. Um, I think, uh, sure, wait, <laughs> no worries, no worries. this has got me, this has got me, this has got me, um, who do I see myself, hmm. I, I haven't given it much thought, surprisingly, um, I'm kind of, you know, I'm I'm trying to like forge my own kind of way in a way. Um, but I know, I mean, I I get your question though. I get your question. Like, I think I think like a Denzel maybe like is someone that maybe I would see myself as. Um, yeah, you know, like your 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 Mister Reliable. You know, your go-to yeah. guy. Um, you know, um, yeah. That's I think that's who that's who I would. I mean, and that's it's such a good one to go with because there's nothing <laughs> literally. It's like you need a bad guy, okay, Denzel. You need a good guy, okay, Denzel. You need a father that's gonna make you cry, Denzel. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But I, I think I think the first thing I ever saw him on was Saint Elsewhere. Does anybody remember that? Yes, yes him and Howie Mandel. Yes. On, yes. Oh. And and the, and the bad guy from Twelve Monkeys. I watch far too much movies, obviously. Denzel was in 12 Monkeys? I gotta watch that again. No, 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 no. He was at uh he was in Saint Elsewhere, the TV show with Howie Mandel, and one oh. of the other lead characters in the it uh, I don't know what the actor's name was, the tall, tall okay. blonde guy. He was in the movie Twelve Monkeys. He was the bad guy that, oh. that uh, yeah, that would set everybody up at the end. The not Brad Pitt guy. <laughs> um, Derek Jin says, I love Jeffrey Wright. Agree with Ragu. First time I saw him, it was uh, as Peoples in Shaft. Yeah. Do you remember that? He kept stabbing himself. Yeah, that was messed up. Yeah. Um, as we all just uh, reminisce on our favorite Jeffrey. See what you did, Matt? You just got us on a Jeffrey Wright, uh, <laughs> <laughs> which is not bad at all. Uh, I, I greatly appreciate that. Now, when going into the show, you, you, you mentioned that a lot of um, the South African actors were aware of the show because of, you know, all the opportunities it was given to the actors in that area. Aside from that, what did you guys know about the show's legacy and what it meant to the Asian, uh, the Asian community? Um, I mean, I won't lie. Uh, personally... I, you know, other than, you know, the fact that it was, you know, Bruce Lee, um, mm. one of his ideas and Shannon Lee had taken it on as producer and, um, and, 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 you know, I think, I think 
I followed up, you know, I watched season one, season two to catch up and get a sense of the world that I was going to get into. Um, and and other than that, really, no, I, I, I hadn't really sort of, you know, gotten an idea of, 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 of the of what it meant to 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 the Asian uh, to the Asian American community. So mm. not much, but I was grateful nonetheless, you know, to be a part of it and to get a sense of, 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 of what it meant and contribute in my own kind of way. And um, yeah, you know, and, and be part of it, be part of the movement. And yeah, and, yeah you know, now, now that I'm there, I know more and I can follow and, and have a lot more respect, you know, and I have a lot more appreciation um, right. for, for movement, absolutely. And, 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 and I don't know about you, and I, I think I'm just kind of making, maybe speaking for myself, but I know watching the show as, you know, a black man watching the show and mm. seeing, you know, a show that focuses it, that's the focus supposed to be on Asian representation, but being able to see, you know, people like ourselves represented in it as well. Mm. Maybe not mm. so much always, uh, you know, on your side of things with Happy Jack, mm. but, you know, mm. uh, but seeing us out there as well and seeing, uh, you know, just uh, the representation from all, all sides of it is, just yeah. one of those things that really spoke to me uh, about the show. When when you're on set, is it something that uh, you're all made consciously aware of, or is it just something that just it is what it is, and and it's just one of those. This is a happy part of life that uh, we, we just get kind of get to experience. Um. Well, I mean, I, I saw something we were sort of openly speaking about. Um, I think it's just something you're aware of, you mm. know? Um, there's a consciousness, obviously, you know? Um, and, and you're aware because you're on set and, you know, I'm black, you know, and most of the cast are Asian and 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 we, we, we're aware that this is a different situation. <laughs> right. this, isn't, <laughs> this isn't your, 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 your everyday situation. Mm. Um, and I think just a lot of gratitude comes with that, you know, um, right. to be part of something different, you know, something that comes across differently. Um, and that's also start making such a huge impact. I think, you know, the voice of Warrior and, and the, 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 the part that it plays in, 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 in representation, you know, um, for the Asian, Afri you know, for the American Asian co community, um, it's it's just it's 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 beautiful. It's beautiful to behold. It's beautiful to watch. It's every, it's 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 something that everybody's rooting for. That that everybody is so proud of. And and wow, what an amazing thing to happen, right? Um, we want more of these shows. We want them yeah. to. We want ten more warriors. You know what I mean? If it's if it's possible, and why not? Yeah. <laughs> you know what Let's I mean? Been um, off here. <laughs> Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. You know what I mean? And then 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 let's 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 make it bigger. Let's make it normal, you know, yes. and, and and make it part of everyday culture as opposed to like a once off kind of thing, you know, that, that, that takes place. I love it. Uh, uh, to perfectly right. to your re, kind of related to your point, uh, Rebecca mm -hmm. and I actually went to Cape Town. So we were there mm -hmm. um, during this filming of season three for a short period. And mm -hmm the things that's really stood out um we met how many people from south africa that were employed on that set yep so we already spoke about that but meeting south african chinese yes of course and the people not really realizing or digging in because this is still quote fiction um mm -hmm. that the individuals playing extras in warrior migrated around the same time of this period. Mm -hmm. And it's the migrations that we left South China and landed in on different shores. And the, all of those parallels there, but then to be in war, you know, in, in South Africa, meet, you know, I mean, think about it, we, Chen, okay? Mm -hmm. it, meeting everyone that we met, but then he jumped in and learned the, the various languages and wanted to, immerse himself so all of these crossovers happened it was yeah. a wild thing to experience and feel and still 
you know, you see all of the different, the immigrant cultures overlapping. It's, it's right there, it's plain mm. as day. And it, and, it, and it comes across, it comes across. So we get this feeling from you. So uh, that's my appreciation to you of oh, really appreciating your land and actually all of this coming together. Yeah, man, absolutely. I think it's 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 um, part of like recognizing that we 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 all have the same struggle, isn't it? You know what I mean? We 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 all try to make our voices heard. Um, we all want our stories to be told. And my my question is, why not? You know what I mean? Why why should they just be like a one one warrior and then? And, and 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 that be the phenomenon, and then that's it. Why why is not that the norm? Like why aren't right. there five now competing? Um, you know, and 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 like you're saying, you know, there's there's so many stories. I think we have, we haven't even scraped the surface of like of 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 the depths of the stories that are out there that that that, that need to be told. That that and and you know, get to a point where there's no majority um, or there's no singular story narrative um, that that everybody feels represented, and that mm -hmm. and at the same time we, we we're able to consume regardless of you know what it looks like um, yeah. that we're all just able to appreciate a good story no matter what it looks like and it, and that it doesn't have to be a look a certain way sound a certain way um, or come across a certain way you know. Yeah. I have to say one little thing exactly you know, on that tip, you know, mm -hmm. um, one person commenting in the warrior group said, damn, it happened, happened, had to happen to the only black dude. What? And it was just hilarious. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm not going to do spoilers in case there are people who I don't know why someone will be watching who hadn't watched, you know, hasn't right. watched, but like <laughs> hilarious. It, been me that it probably was. It probably was like, what? <laughs> the only one he died. And I mean, you know what? I won't lie. Secretly, like I was holding on to that. I was like, "You cannot kill the only black guy." I mean, sorry, I'm just waiting on it. But anyway, <laughs> and then you're gonna have the teacher do it too on top of it. And you're gonna have the teacher take out a brother too on top of it. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? And when I got the call, I was like, "No!" I saw that and right away. I started kissing my teeth. I'm just like, I'm telling you, what I'm gonna, that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in touch with my ancestors. <laughs> 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 That's it. You, you guys are all. You guys all had happy Jack. You wait till you see Mean Max coming next week, next year. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I, I, can, I could definitely uh, deal with that. That'd be great. Now, uh, normally, like every week at the end of the show, we we do uh, the Tong trials where we get uh, our guest. The we ask them uh, Matt. He'll ask them a bunch of questions. And based on those questions, we will vote whether we say, yay, you're in our tongue, or nay, and you're the first one ever to get thrown out of our tongue. <laughs> <laughs> now, luckily for you, Matt is not here, but that does not mean you get off scot-free, because <laughs> these fine ladies here are going to be your inquisitors, inquisitors, if you will, and... Uh, I don't know. Is this? Is, do you feel like you're okay with this? Are Are you ready to deal with the Tong trial? Bring it on! <laughs> oh my God! I gotta make sure I have these right. Okay. And ladies, are you ready? Who's going first? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and uh, whoever would like. To, well, Steph, you're on top. So why don't you go first with the first question for Nat here? Okay. Okay. Let's go. These are really, really, really tough. Okay. <laughs> if you had a time machine, okay, yeah, if you have a time machine, would you visit your past or see your future and why? Mm. Deep. My past. Yes. And you can't you can't interact with yourself. You could just look. You could just view your past i think i would want to see my past because also i don't like spoilers so <laughs> i like that <laughs> yeah. i like it too <laughs> all right all right all right no spoilers uh rebecca mm -hmm. you're up next okay 
So what show should they never do a reboot or a remake of? Any something that you think is just perfect or so bad that shouldn't have been done in the first place? <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Good point. Um, there was a movie about killer ants. Oh my God. Was it called Killer Ants? I think so. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think because I feel like I saw that movie. <laughs> and now I'm looking it up because that's there was a movie called Killer Ants, the full movie. <laughs> that I think I, I watched it just out of curiosity and I was just like, how did this make it into like and it's like, how did you guys even make it onto set? How did you guys even take yourselves seriously? <laughs> I saw a few of those recently. Uh, no. <laughs> no. What the? What the? Her face. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. That, that yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I, I don't know. I, I think they should make a, a part two of that one. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks like uh, it looks, it I can like see some like already. some there, some there had to be some like you know I mean can you picture like doing a live version of that? I right. I was Kill given it. I was given this movie to review. Velocipaster. What Pastor. is that? Velocipaster. <laughs> Man, man of the, the claw. A man of the what claw. What the hell is that? He turns into a raptor and then attacks evil people. And oh. it was and and I mean it, he was basically wearing a very bad Halloween costume when he turned into the like that was a special oh, effects. Man. Like maybe they spent 10 bucks on it and it got a sequel. <gasps> it got a no! sequel. <laughs> Wait, where was this made? I, I don't know. They were just <laughs> by, uh, the fine Who asked you to October review Coast. this movie? October Coast asked me to review that movie. <laughs> they also made me uh, review a movie called Spaghetti Man about a man who got uh, uh, powers from eating radioactive spaghetti. Yeah. No, um, no, no. I'm, why? I, why I don't know, but uh, why do yeah. that? Okay. Amazing. Enough. So, okay. All right. We digress. <laughs> you go ahead. Yes, we digress. Um, name a hidden talent of yours that would surprise people. Mm. I can. I'm really remember. I'm really good at remembering people's faces. Like I remember people's faces that I met or saw when I was like four or five years old. Oh mm -hmm, wow. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. So like I sneak up to people quite a lot and scare them. <laughs> You're the <laughs> human facial recognition. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at that. Yeah. You start to find out why you're so happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rebecca, what do you got next? All right. Um, complete the phrase, never have I ever blank. Is this like the never have I ever, but then I, yeah. I have, I actually have. <laughs> no. is, that, is, that, is that the game? Okay. Um, wow. Never have I ever jumped a railing at an airport and fell flat on my face. So you actually have. <laughs> no. Videos of this. Yep. I thought I was being so clever at my grand old age. And uh, <laughs> I was like, I can scale this. This is easy. Come on. <laughs> and then the funniest thing was I made it halfway, right? And then there was this moment where I was kind of just like in the middle and like willing myself to make it over to the other side but then my body. Slow uh, mo. <laughs> and in my mind, it took forever. 
I can I feel the slow-mo. <laughs> Everybody I love it. All right, All right. Steph, what you got? Breakfast. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What's mm. the best meal of the day? Breakfast, without a doubt. Oh. Mm. What's your favorite go-to oh. breakfast? Oh, it's nothing like a good muesli yogurt and some fruit, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm down with the fruit for the start of the day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with it's you there. Nice, honey drizzled on the top. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I like it. Okay. No, I'm, I'm Excuse me. Yeah, me if too. If past awarded you, most likely to, what will be your award? What is your... Oh, yeah, most likely to... <laughs> Characteristic. <laughs> Most likely to, uh, <laughs> most likely to stay, most likely to go overseas and live overseas. Mm -hmm. oh. Nice. To LA? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to determine my own future here. <laughs> Manifest. Manifest. Yes. I'm putting it out yes. there. <laughs> Next right. would be describe your perfect day off. Ooh, ooh. Um, I'm with my wife. I'm with my kids. We are. At some, I don't know. We we we're traveling. We're on a holiday. Yeah, we 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 we're going somewhere. We're visiting somewhere like extraordinary. I don't know. We're at a game park. Even, yeah. Oh, that dress. We're, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I wish she was here. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, Becca, what you got? Okay, picture that we're <laughs> we're out playing karaoke bar, the whole warrior cast. What's your choice of a song? Ooh, what are you singing at karaoke? Uh, definitely R&B. Only You 112. Ooh. Only You 112. Do I have to sing you don't have to, yeah, yeah, I think you have yeah. to sing it. You have to let us know. <laughs> I don't know that one. Oh, I... Need to know where, where? We stand. do we share the special thing called love? I know I do. What <laughs> about that? you? I just can't. I need, need you, you in my life. Where <laughs> do I go? What must I do if I can't live? <laughs> love it. I love it. Now we just got to get the instrumentals going in the background. Yes. Bully Simone. Bully Simone. No, that's, that's, I'm like, wow, well, guys, I can't believe you guys made me do that. That's, <laughs> that's so special. And I, I never remember the words. And that, that, no offense, but we weren't exactly twisting your arm there. <laughs> oh, no, right, yeah, but it's okay i love that part i have to go back and rewind and find that this is special oh that's so special i've never done that before wow sing like this oh you did great thank you oh my turn okay oh, yeah, sorry. okay sorry. what is some advice that was given to you that you never forgot Oh, um, there is no such thing as a small role, only a small actor. Oh, that one, like that. And, 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 and add on to that, someone is always watching. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. usually yeah. when you don't want them to be. <laughs> 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 Especially with social media, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <And the> camera phones. <laughs> well, I always tell, I always try to tell my kids, I'm like, life is too much like sports. Referees always get the catch the person retaliating, not the person that hit that starts it. 
Absolutely. So. Always watch. It's, when they it's don't rough out here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Steph, what you got? What do you got for us? Oh, no, wait. You just went, oh. right? Sorry. Mm -hmm. I think I know the answer for that question, but I will ask anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who is the first person you tell any time you get good news? Definitely my wife. Yeah, without a doubt. I know. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Love of my life. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I love so that picture. Cute. <laughs> That's so great. What about you, Steph? What do you got? Well, last but not least. Ooh. <laughs> if you had a theme song every time you enter the room, what song would play? Um, I'm all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> so love it love it that the that took no it. time at all no you didn't even have to think Damn, right? he had that one on the ready she was like, I just the came to you, man. Just came to the button you. And started playing. <laughs> Like, gonna, right after we do this, that's what I'm going to play, right? <laughs> I love that's it. That's like, that's like, the bot expression. What do you mean if? He's like, what do you mean if? I already have it playing. <laughs> totally. <laughs> exactly. Hilarious. Oh, that's my so, goodness. That was great. Well, all right. That was all the questions. All right. Well, I, I don't know. You know, we've, we've never had anyone not make it, but we don't have the rest of the cast here, so... Let's see, your chances are a little bit harder getting through, but let's see what we see here. I'm going to put our thumbs up here, folks. What are you saying? Is Nat in the ton or is he out? Three, two, one. Yeah. 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 going to get your, check. your checks in the mail. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Amazing. See, this is why you're in. Welcome. Oh, such a pleasure. Yeah. Welcome to the time. Thank you. One of, one, of one of us. 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 No, no, that wasn't too rough on you, was it? Was it too nerve wracking? That was that was that was surprisingly. I was and I was genuinely like sweating there, but uh, that was that was cool. That was absolutely <laughs> <laughs> that was dope. It was so funny every every week. I was like, I was so nervous for that. Like, no, you don't understand. Like I was like, oh my word, did I study? Did I get? Did I, did I, did I, did I... <laughs> Everybody always thinks you're gonna quiz them on the actual show too. It's like. Sorry, episode yeah. three of season two. What was no? Exactly, no, exactly. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> who oh, was man. the third anyway. writer in the episode? No, uh, you you did fantastic, Nat. And this was a uh, so much fun. Be before we do, I uh, let you go. Do you have what do you have going on, Nat? What where can people follow you and uh, where can they look yeah. for you, Nat? So, man, at the right now at the moment, I'm in Cape Town. We're shooting um, a Netflix show. I just, I just, I'm just trying to record it for those an NDA that I signed. <laughs> oh, okay. Was it this one? Was it? <laughs> no, I don't remember. No, there wasn't one. But um, we're shooting, shooting rather, season two of of of, um, of a show that I did on Netflix. Very excited. To, to, did really well the first season. Um, ah. And and yeah, man, having fun. I did. Yeah, I did a, the call on that other movie. Um, I don't know. Yeah, was it in India? I can't remember, man. You know, these yeah, days. It's fair so enough. Yeah. Um, am I supposed to talk about it? Am I not supposed to talk about it? I don't know. I want to talk about it. It's my job. Um, but yeah, there's a movie that I just did that was very exciting. Um, and and yeah, that's so far. That's it. I'm trying to do my own stuff. I'm trying to get my own podcast going. Show. Uh, trying to yeah develop myself as a writer, director. Um, oh, so hopefully in the future, that's you know those are those are the shoes that I'll be stepping into. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm just a family man, and you know trying to do my thing. <laughs> oh yes, the it's going to be called uh, Normal Eyes with Nat. Normal Eyes with Oh, I like that. So like normal yeah. eyes, but normal, mm -hmm. normal. eyes. Yeah. Yes. 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 I'm not just a pretty face. 
<laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> I'm not even a pretty face. It's just the brain I got. <laughs> Wait, but then you need to have a special segment, right a on. special episode with Patricia, Dead Eyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Normalized oh, Dead yeah. Eyes. Normalized Dead Eyes. Normalized <laughs> meets Dead Eyes. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I've got chills already. It'd be the warrior connection. The season mm -hmm. three baddies that got taken out. <laughs> the, the mm -hmm. Yes. This is how I'll we be, come I'll back. watch. I'll watch. Are you kidding me? Everybody would love to see you guys. Normalized mm, dead eyes. The salt and pepper story. No, too soon. Too soon. <laughs> um, I'm so sorry. Um, I don't know how we haven't been canceled, honestly. It's a podcast. <laughs> um, <laughs> So stupid. Um, I do want to say uh, thanks so much, though, Nat. This this was a lot of fun. Uh, you are you are most definitely a, a very happy guy, and 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 you, you, your joy though, like it, it spreads, and we love seeing people like you. And there's so many happy people on this set of war that genuinely love it and and genuinely love the craft. And uh, I just want to thank you personally for taking your time out of your day. And, and spending some time with us and giving us kind of a look behind the curtain. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we all got it. Thank you. Now, and, um, oh, go ahead. No, I just wanted to um, send a special shout out to my colleague and one of the just, I didn't mention her, um, Halsey. You know, she's just such a dope, <gasps> dope, dope, beautiful actress. So crazy talented i know you guys saw a portion of her on warrior but there's some other stuff that she does and she's just incredible and just special shout out to her lots of sending lots of love and the whole cast of warrior in fact everybody and um, you guys thank you zeus mm. thank you dev thank you rebecca oh. muito obrigado uh, <laughs> look at that <laughs> yeah you know what i mean you guys this was this was incredible this was special and it was an honor, absolute honor for me to be on the show. Thank you for having me. Thank you. This is so appreciated. We really appreciate you. This is perfect timing. We needed Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yes. Absolutely. And Derek says a wonderful interview with a wonderful of a wonderful wow. man. And we Thank couldn't you, Derek. <laughs> to Derek, to Simon, to Rags, to Everyone else who uh, commented and watched the show, thank you so much. Now, Nat, when we leave the show, this is something you, you're not familiar with, but we all do this thing where uh, you, you can follow in. We, we, we lean from left to right, to right. and we... Wait, left to right? Which way? We start on our right side, sorry, and go to our oh, left. Oh, yeah. My, my left. We start on your right and go to your left. On your right. Oh, and, my right. Uh, and don't worry, we'll, we'll handle the saying, but we're going to go on three, two, one... Let's get, get some sticky. <laughs> that was one of our best. Any TV show. Thanks so much.